Great morning. It is February 10th, Wednesday. So I did get up early enough to uh, do a quick three card here. Um, so what we have this morning, we have the spiral coil. As things grow, they, you know, a lot of things go in the spiral. <clears throat> Also says, you know, we walk the maze of life. Um, so this is part of the journey. We have the perfect storm. Okay. Sometimes things come in the storm, the perfect storm, which shakes things up. But in the end, it's a beneficial thing. So not all tower moments are bad. It's like, uh, you know, to get to realization, the, the last barrier you, you cross is the tower moment. Um, that's why in the Tarot, the tower also um, is a sign of enlightenment. You know, everything deconstructs, everything deconstructs, and then enlightenment takes place. You see the, the reality that's been behind the Maya realm that you've lived in for all that time, okay? So the perfect storm. Don't always think again that a storm is a bad thing, you know. Um, case in point, uh, what I'm doing today, you know, going and having that biopsy, well, that could be kind of a storm. And if you catch something real early, then that could be a perfect storm. Okay, it's not something you really want to do, but it's beneficial in the end. You could also call it the left-handed blessing, the perfect storm. Um, shake things up. Kind of like we're going through with all this stuff with uh, the trumpet, you know, now that he's out. Um, and things are getting shaken up. He stirred up so much problems that we're going to be dealing with for some time of these radicalized people that have gone down the rabbit hole due to COVID and losing money and, and all of these things going on. We have this perfect storm going now. Um, we can come out the other side better in the end, but now it's a difficult time and and again, the spiral, we have to wait for things to unfold. When we plant the seed, it takes time for it to unfold. i got to go backwards of <laughs> what I'm looking at. Okay, and the last card we have for today is the Inspired Juggler. You know, during this time, you feel like you're having to juggle things. And, and we have to use sometimes a lot of inspiration. Um during this time to make things, you know, if you're low on finances, you've got to be creative in the way you make your meals, what you're buying, what you're doing. So sometimes we have to be a juggler um, until things smooth out again. So, uh, you know, if you're going to be a juggle, juggler, be an inspired juggler, um, how to keep all these balls in the air at once, you know, um, but we can do it, you know, part of life. Um, we always have those times in life where things are not readily apparent. We have to wait for them, you know. It's like if you're going to plant a seed also, the perfect storm, you have to dig up the ground first to make it available to plant the seeds in. You can't plant seeds in hard ground. You've got to dig it up first, you know. You have to have that that storm. You have to move things, okay? So this is a time we're going through of the perfect storm time. Um, just because we're going through difficulty does not mean it's not going to have benefit in the end. It will have benefit, but we've just got to hang in there uh, we've got to give things time, and then as we're going through it, we have to sometimes juggle things um, and learn to be creative, okay? Uh, learn to be creative in whatever you're doing. I know when I was, uh, you know, raising 
my daughter and stuff that, you know, I had to be creative a lot of times. We didn't have money for, you know, to go out and buy expensive food and things. Um, so I had to really live on the cheap and uh, we never got to go out and buy new clothes. Everything was second hand and, you know, had to bite the bullet and get creative with a lot of pastas and things like that. Ramen, I had to learn to be very creative with ramen. Things that just you could really stretch, you know. Um, although in the end, my daughter says she appreciates it because of the hard times. You know, she learned to be more, uh, uh, have strength within herself as well. So, um, she sees the left-handed blessing in that and appreciates, you know, the difficulties that we had gone through. But, we, you know, we made it through it. And again, it only helped her to be a stronger person in the end. So I'm going to leave this here. Much love and light to everyone in another half hour. I have to take off out of here. Burr! It's going to be, well, I'm sure that some people... 39 degrees would be warm compared to where you are, but <laughs> for here, that's pretty cold this morning, so I'm not looking forward to that. <laughs> I'm not a person that's big on the cold, <laughs> so, <laughs> so we'll see. I'll get out there and start my car in a, just a few and let it warm up. Thank God I've got seat warmers in that car. I love the seat warmers in my car. <laughs> so I will definitely be using those today. <laughs> anyway, love and light, and I'll see you when I get back. Um, got everything ready for these two munchkins. Their bowls are filled. New potty pads are out. So, uh, <laughs> Mr. Max. <laughs> I don't know, you can see his little tongue is out. <laughs> so cute, <laughs> Noah. <laughs> he said, Mama, don't laugh at my affliction. <clears throat> Since he had those teeth pulled, all the front, a lot of the front teeth pulled, his little tongue just comes out all the time now. <laughs> You're a cutie, you are. You're just a really, you're such a sweet boy. You're such a sweet boy. Hey, don't laugh at my affliction, Mama. Don't do it. He's a good boy. Yeah. He is just so sweet. He is definitely a mama's boy, that's for sure. You know, he was so jealous when I had Raj. He just couldn't even stand it when Raj would come up. Raj, you know, usually didn't want to be petted and stuff. Every once in a while he would. He would climb up on my lap and say, you know, I, I would like some petting now. But usually not. And when Raj did come up, the very few times he would, <laughs> Mr. Max would get so jealous. He would get so jealous. So when I got Missy Moon here, hey, oh my God, and now she's jealous. She wants the attention. When I got Missy Moon, he was, yes, I know. He was, he was at first snippy and snarling because he was afraid that, you know, he wouldn't get the attention. He said, but I found out I get plenty of attention anyway. I still get plenty of attention. My mama gives me puppy time. I get my own puppy time, yeah, yeah, he says I do get my puppy time, yeah, he says I gotta have my love bug time, isn't that right mister, hey Missy Moon would you wait a minute, you get your time too, just hold a minute, oh my god, okay let me, let me, <laughs> let me love on your sister for a few minutes so she'll quit, Okay, come here, Missy Moon. Come here, you troublemaker. Come here. Come here. Come here, feisty one. Come here, feisty one. Oh my God, she's just, yeah, she just, uh, now are you happy? Now will you settle down for a minute? Okay, gremlin, 
<laughs> she does. She looks like the little gremlin. <laughs> so now she's happy. She fed a little time too. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Missy Moon. Yeah. She's 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 doing well for how long I've had her. She's uh, she's settling in, but. Um, really rambunctious. <laughs> hey, let's not do biting. Don't do biting. Don't do don't do hard nips, okay? If you do hard nips then I'll squeak. Yeah. Yeah, if you do hard nips I'll squeak. I will. Yeah. Oh, I've got to brush her before I go to. She gets brushed every day, once a day. Um So where is your brush? Where is your brush, little? Missy Moon, let's let's brush you before I go, okay? Let's brush you. That's a good girl. Let's see here, let me brush you. Yeah, let's brush you real quick. Okay. Cause these dogs will get matted if you don't brush them. Their hair gets kinda long and they can get matted. So we do a real quick brushing every morning. See, good girl. Here we go. Here we go. That's about it. Let me get you to have to take your head here a little bit. Good girl. Good girl, little mouse. Good girl, mousy. See, so every day, yeah, they do have, they do lose some hair. Okay, let's make sure we get all that loose hair out of there, little missy. Okay, so on that note, yeah. I don't have too much longer before it's time for me to hit the road so that I can be there on time. And it's a good thing I did call because uh, even though the VA and the, the um, Beaumont are in the same building, you can't get from one side to the other side. <laughs> I would have gotten there and not been able to find my way in so good thing I called oh so I'm gonna go hit the road thanks for tuning in see you online